Good morning from London. It's a little bit clearer today than it was yesterday on this Monday morning. It's still a bit grey but uh, the sky is really a mix so it could conceivably do absolutely anything at all. We, we don't know. Um, and uh, had a really lovely dance today. Much more busy. Uh, much more busy. It's, of course it's London so um, the um, many more people I think out. It's that urban thing out down the morning run, walking the dogs, kind of do it, doing the city thing. And um, so I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to have a space to dance. I don't want to get in anybody's way. Bye. <laughs> um, one of the guys stopped to talk to me, one of the guys who works on the ground. And uh, so I, uh, I was walking around while well, dancing the grass. It's really squidgy at the minute, like proper mud. I thought, well, and, and it was full of pigeon poo, not pigeon poo, crow poo, or uh, poo. <laughs> it was full of poo. And I thought, mm, don't know if I'm, I'm ready for that today. So I, I came back up to the same spot again, and I thought, well, just it's, it's the biggest spot that I could find, and I didn't want to be wandering around for any more time. And um, and it was a really, it was a lovely, lovely. I had a great dance today, actually. I mean, it's, it's a really different space to the Brumal is so open and big and flat, um, and this is kind of lumpy and uh, and and not as big, but still had a, a lovely dance. And I was um, I was dancing today. I was, I was speaking to my my mum left yesterday. And um, she works at a, a university in the States in a library. And she was telling me that one of the students, um, when she, there was a big storm, and when she was pulling out a parking, her parking space at the university, a tree fell down and crushed her um, in the car. And she's still living. Um, she didn't have any more update. And I thought, oh my God, how horrific and, and and unexpected and all this kind of stuff and, and that poor woman um, and that family um, and went, went right down her car and smacked down her on her head and they had um, three fire trucks out to to pry her out of her automobile and and it kind of, you know, it's one of those things I've had two experiences similar in actual fact where we're near misses when I was um, at university at Franklin and Marshall, um, the, a tree came down right into the drama office, right through, good morning, right through the window, which was about twice the size of me, and missed um, one of the work study students, Malaja, and um, Joan, who was secretary at the time, by, by a hair. And it was one of these massive Pennsylvania trees. And it was it was an astounding thing. And another time, it's kind of funny in hindsight, but it was it, 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 quite hot. It was you know, it, it's quite funny, but not. Um, it was right. It was the week before. I was right in between university and when I was moving into my first kind of apartment out of university house out of university. And there's a big thunderstorm, and I heard a crack in the middle of the night. I must have heard it in my sleep, and woke up screaming to see a tree coming in through my window. Luckily, the roof above caught it, but it, it, again, a, a bolt of lightning had uh, had, had create, caused the tree to fall down. One of these massive, massive, massive trees, and um, and it was fine. I mean, it was a lot of damage to the house, but um, I, I was fine. And you know, we laughed because my mother had was on a business trip or something and my father didn't even wake <laughs> or like dad <laughs> a tree came through the roof <laughs> you're a little girl i was a little i was 21 but in the other roof I, it was it was totally fine um but in this instance it wasn't fine and, and this woman was trapped under the tree and 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 i thought to myself and again i you know i danced for her and her her family and her her health uh, her recovery and um, but I got thinking about this. I was like, well, you know what? What can be gleaned from from the situation? And we were talking about the situation in, in the Middle East yesterday um, uh, with the folks I'm staying with. And on the news, I think it was a woman in Bahrain, and she said, "I'd rather die." Who was standing up for the, for the revolution? She said, "I'd rather die today than die a little bit every day." And I thought that was there was something quite interesting in that because 
every day we are on the verge of death, right? Like things like that could happen. You could be hit, hit by a car like the young man um, a week ago or a tree could fall down and random things happen all the time. And, and I think that, but I thought, I had this thought in my head, I was like, but we're also on the verge of life and at what stage do you really, truly start living your, I, uh, you start living your, your true nature, you know? And I'm standing here and I'm looking at these wonderful uh, buds on the trees and, and how very naturally, you know, they, they start to regenerate themselves because always on the on the end on the end of of death is, is a life as well. And so what what is it that you need to release from your life, whatever that means to you, in order to truly live and truly be happy. And what micro movements and it doesn't even have to be a big picture. Um, and so that, that, that's my thought for the day. You know, these things, the trees that near, had near misses in my life and for that woman. And I think that these can be reminders for us all. At, at what stage do we start to live a little bit more every day? We start to embrace every single moment and every, and, and, and rid ourselves of, of things that are unnecessary, um, that are not supporting are living they're not allowing us to blossom it's like that Marianne Williamson quote who are you not to be brilliant in any way that um, in any way that tarnishes how beautiful you are so um, and I think and I feel that to not celebrate that is to accept death to accept the fact that a, that a little part of you is, going, is dying every day so um, so yeah, so that, that was that's my thought for the day. Um, I'll probably be back here tomorrow. And so uh, I've had a great chat with John, one of the uh, groundskeepers here. And he said, you dance here as long as you want. <laughs> I said, thank you so much. So um, yeah, performing tonight. I hope that goes well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, bye.